Right, so this is part six, yeah, part six, and um, it's just going to be another quick one. What it's going to be is a load more button on the view latest tips. So when we initially load five, I'm going to have a load more button. When you click that, it's going to load the next five. Then it will have the button again, load the next five until there's no more. So let me just show you that quickly. What have got to load it? Yep. So here's the latest screen. So if you scroll to the bottom, we've now got this load more button. I mean, obviously it's styled really ugly at the minute, but I think in the next video I'm gonna go through the um, the alert boxes and all the other stuff, and I'm gonna make them look nicer. So in the next video I'll be smartening up all these ugly bits. So yeah. So if you click load more. Does a call to the server and it gets the next five. Then another load more, and I think, yep, yeah, all tips loaded. Then at the end it gives that. But what I'll do is in the next video I'll make them all look a little bit nicer. So yeah. So then if we go back, we completely get rid of everything for to for our memory management stuff. So then if we go back in, it would just get the initial five again. So you'd have to do that again again but yeah that's just all memory management stuff so yep so all tips loaded so yes yeah, so let's have a look at this then so in the latest window what I've got is on in our event listener on the table before I believe I believe we just had this which when you click when you clicked on a, a thumbnail for one of the tips it would open the new window with the tip information so what I've added is let me have a look in latest API I added this extra row at the bottom of our loop I'm pretty sure I didn't go through this before but anyway at the bottom of our loop I've added this this extra row and what this row is is just load more but the main thing to note about this is the custom ID I've done a zero. So then, what we've got here is if the row you click is zero, meaning it's our load more, what we do is we get the e dot index for that row. So um, let's just say for the first load more button, the index will be five. And then yeah, and it, the reason it'll be five is because we load five tips, and the indexing starts at zero. So um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are actual tips and 5 will be the index of our load more button right so then what we do is we make our call to get 5 new rows so this is just going to this new file get more API and we're calling the load latest function and we're passing it all the same stuff as before actually I should probably change that load latest function because that's the same name I don't know why I did that it's the same name as before, but yeah, all that's doing is it's going into, actually I'll leave it, it doesn't matter. So yeah, so just ignore what I was just saying. So yeah, so it's going into get more API, which I'll open in a sec. It's doing the call, and then what it's doing is it's deleting the row here. So what it's doing is, it, it's, sorry, start norm holds this e.index, which is the index of the current row. What I'm doing here is I'm deleting the row with this index, which is our load more button. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I didn't delete the load more button, then when you click load more, you would still have the load more button. Where this arrow is, there would still be a load more button in between every five, which is obviously it's obviously not what you want. It's confusing for, for the user as well. So I hope that all makes sense, should do. So let's go into get more API. So what we've got here, it's just a database call, same as before, pretty much, same as the load later. Well, yeah, same as the the initial call we're making in latest API, which gets the five latest tips. This one, the URL, is the mode is load more, and we're passing it this start variable. And what start is, start is the index of the load more button and the reason we're passing it that is because we're going to use limit in MySQL to limit the results we're going to still get five but we want to start 
at this index number. So that way we're, we're getting the next five results as they are in the database. So yeah, so we're passing that there, start norm, we're passing it here. That gets it here, the variable start, and then we're passing it in our query. Well, not our query, in our in our get request. So let's have a look. I don't think there's anything different because it's just literally the same row information as we're doing in latest API. Then again, after we've done our, all our iterations in our loop, we are then adding another load more button, passing that the custom ID of zero. And we're doing that again because zero is is how we identify it as the load more button. Then what we're doing is on the current table we're appending this oh we're, yeah we're appending the rows. So in the loop we're doing that at the bottom of each loop, append row, and then on the load more button we're also doing that. If for some reason or well if there is no more rows to retrieve, then we're gonna end up in this catch statement. And when we do, we put this row in where it says all tips loaded, and you've seen it was that nasty uh, red red background with black writing and just said all tips loaded. So yeah, so I hope that makes sense. But again, I'll just open it again, we'll go back. So we're loading our initial five. The sixth row is this, the load more button. But as but because the index and stats at zero, this is actually index five. So when we click this, we are passing that index of five. Um, I'll show you that right now in the in our actual MySQL query. So what we got here is this is the bracket we end up in if we're loading more. Connect to the database. We're getting the start number. And what we're doing is we're doing the same query, but this time, instead of just limit it, limiting it at 5, we're doing this, where we're going to limit it at 5, but we want to start at this index. So for the first instance, it will be it will be limit 5, 5. The next one will be limit 10, 5, then 15, 5. And the reason that goes up is because our index number goes up 5 each time. So this ensures that it's it's exactly what we want in the app. So again, it's the same as before. We're getting the the array, passing it back as JSON, and exit him. And then what we end up with is this. We click load more, it gets the next five. Load more, boom, and it says all tips loaded when there's no more. So anyway, that was really quick. Hope that makes sense. In the next video, like I said, what I'll do is I'll be going through all of the places where I've got an alert box or um, those horrible rows, the load more button, the all tips loaded and anything else I come across that I've said I'd leave to the end so what I'll do is I'll, I'll finish all them up then I'll think after I've done all that I think I'll move on to the um, creating an account yeah so all right. so I hope that was helpful